So today on Backcountry College, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're hopefully gonna cook dinner right here on the stream bake, but first, uh, we gotta find some ingredients. Now it's late spring, early summer. Uh, we're surrounded by wild edibles. I'm just gonna pick up a few things today. Um, I'm gonna try to find some morels. It's pretty late. Uh, morels tend to disappear when it gets warmer. Um, but if we can't find some morels, maybe we can find some bolites. Um, and we'll see what else we can find around. And hopefully, we'll be able to catch a fish to go with them. Let's see what we can do. bit of shopping today. Now I've been looking around for a few minutes, not really finding what I'm looking for, but I think if we stay at it we'll find it. There's something. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't want to eat it. I think that's a really old slimy bolete. Mushroom hunting's been a little hard. We got we got some rain earlier and it warmed up. And usually the boat, ooh, hey, there's a good one. Usually the bolites really pop up and they did, uh, but then it dried off. And we got a fine one right here. Oh yeah. Just a fine specimen. Bolites are pretty easy to identify. They've got this sulfur colored cap, and then on the underside, uh, they have pores as opposed to gills. Let's see what else we can find. Some deer poo. Ow. Got some elk thistle here. It's pretty much the whole plant's edible. But she's a bit mean, covered with spines. So collecting it's a little bit of a difficult task, but hat comes in pretty useful. Pretty much all the thistles, this is one of our native thistles, but um, there's a lot of invasive thistles. They're all edible. Get rid of the spiny leaves. They taste a bit like cucumber, which seems to be a common theme. Queen cup, bed lily, tastes like a cucumber too. If you can catch those when they're young, they're actually pretty doggone good, but the uh, cucumber flavor becomes a little overbearing if they get a little older, and plus the leaves get kind of tough. Now this is Spearmint makes excellent tea and mojitos, if you're into that. So mints all have square stems. If you cut a cross section of the stem, you can see that it's square. You can roll it and feel the edges. And the, the leaves are always opposite, come off both sides, and then you flip and they come off both sides again. There he is.
Nice cut through. Alright, so got my ingredients here and I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use some seasoning that I brought from the back of the house and I've got a little piece of tinfoil. Caught a really nice trout on my tinkara rod and so I've got, I've got a, a, a nice trout here. I've got a, a bolete mushroom also known as porcini and I've got uh, some elk thistle here. Now this elk thistle is fairly young. I, I found a uh, kind of a rank older one earlier but I uh, foraged around a little bit and found some better uh, younger ones. Now this stuff you want to kind of peel it and get that outer sheath on off of there. Uh, if you can if you can peel the, that outer sheath off there it's it's really quite tender and it's pretty good. It's kind of a it's got a sweet flavor to it almost uh, kind of like a sweet celery-ish uh, cucumber type of thing. Um, but it's good. This one grows all over the place. And I'm going to go ahead and fold out just to keep things clean. I'm going to just grill all this stuff straight on the coals on the fire. Uh, don't have to worry with getting any kind of um, grill apparatus set up or anything. Just get your coals nice and, and burned down and throw them right on there. This one's pretty good raw actually. Peel that outer edge off. Got a flavor, it's kind of hard to describe. You just have to experience it for yourself. We'll throw that in there too. All right, so I've got my fire pretty much burned right, right on down to coals. I'm just gonna lay those suckers right on there. Get some nice fish slime on there. Give it a little flavor. Mmm, mmm. Talk about good. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna make kind of an oven out of that. Might as well see if I can catch another fish. That's a good cast. I gotta catch a fish on that one. Ooh, ah, missed him. No love for our brother. I can smell those porcinis. Ooh, yeah, get off that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Got a boy cook for a little longer. Don't want to be getting no parasites. <sighs> oh, mint. Makes really good tea. And if you catch yourself in a bind, or you forget your deodorant, makes good deodorant. Makes your underarms burn a little bit, but you get over it.
Mm, 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 mm. Tell you what. Mm. Ah. Put that on a porcini. Wow, yeah. Mushrooms. Wrap it up. Now you couldn't get something better than that if you went to a five-star restaurant in New York City. I'll tell you what. That's fine eating. I believe I'll have me another. You know, I we'll tried the thistle cooked. I like the thistle raw. It's good. It's not so good cooked. But, that's nice. Mm, that's some Regansers. Got a snipe winnowing over my head. Got Regansers flying by. Trout rising. Beaver swimming down the river. And a damn fine meal. Couldn't ask for anything more. Well, this day is about done, and so is this episode of Backcountry College. Now, I would encourage all of you uh, to get out and explore the wild edibles around your neck of the woods. There's wild edibles everywhere, and you probably have them in your own backyard, and you don't even know about it. Um, you do need to get you some field guides if, you, if you're not quite sure what you're looking at. Make sure you key things out, especially when it comes to mushrooms. Now what we uh, had today is just a, a very, very small fraction of, of what's available here. You know, it's uh, the wild edibles, uh, what, what's in season is, is very much seasonal. Um, you know, you've got uh, things that you're gonna find in the springtime that you're not gonna find once it warms up. Uh, and then you got things that's, that you're gonna find when it warms up uh, that you're not gonna find in the fall or the spring. Um, and the different plants, even though you have one plant, um, different stages of its life cycle, it's going to provide different things. Um, and so, you know, getting out there and getting to know these things is fun and it's useful knowledge too. Um, it's really cool when you can come out and collect all your ingredients from uh, right one local area and, and, and cook up a meal and a, and a good meal at that. Um, so get out there and explore. Uh, if you don't ever get out and, and check things out, you'll never know what you're missing. Um, so with that, we'll see you next time on Backcountry College. Don't forget to check us out at backcountryhunters.org and on our Facebook page. We always got cool stuff going on there. We'll see you next time.